the first great king of Babylon was King Hammurabi. He conquered all of Mesopotamia and established the first Babylonian Empire. Hammurabi also established a set of laws that is today called the Code of Hammurabi. How do we know about the Code of Hammurabi? The Code of Hammurabi was written down on clay tablets and etched into stone. It is one of the oldest recorded codes of law in the world. One of the best surviving examples of code is written on the diorite stele. The diorite stele is a large stone shaped like a giant finger. It is about seven feet tall and two feet wide. It contains around 4,000 lines of text describing 282 different laws. At the top or fingertip of the stele is a carved picture of King Hammurabi being given the laws from the Babylonian sun god, Shamash. The actual code of law was divided up into groupings. Many of the laws that had to do with one subject i.e. slavery, were grouped together. This would have helped people to find and read just the laws that pertain to them. Here are some of the major sections of the code. Prologue, legal procedures, household laws, slavery, trade and business, religion, epilogue. The prologue introduced the code. The prologue describes how the sun god Shamish gave up the laws to Hammurabi. Here is an excerpt from the prologue. Bring about the rule of righteousness in the land to destroy the wicked and the evildoers, so that the strong should not harm the weak, so that I should rule and enlighten the land to further the well-being of mankind. In the epilogue, Hammurabi restates his desire for justice for all, saying, Let the oppressed man come and stand before my image as king of righteousness. Let him understand my words and his case, so he will understand what is just and his heart will be glad. Many of the laws describe exactly what a worker should earn. For example, one law states that a sailor should be paid six gur of grain per year. Some laws were very harsh and the penalties were severe. If a son should strike his father, his hands shall be cut off. If a man put out the eye of another man, his eye shall be put out. If any man should strike a man of higher rank, he shall receive sixty blows with an ox whip. If a builder builds a house for someone and that house collapses, killing them, then the builder shall be put to death. What makes the code important? The code itself tells archaeologists a lot about the lives of the people in Babylon. It also contains some important ideas, like having people provide evidence of a crime, innocent until proven guilty, and protection for the weak. Shamash, who is featured at the top of the diorite stele, was the Babylonian god of law, justice, and salvation. The diorite stele is called diorite because it is made from a type of black rock called diorite. 
The diorite stele was originally found by archaeologists in the ancient city of Susa. Today it can be found in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. The Code of Hammurabi is one of the oldest and longest deciphered writings in existence. The code was written using cuneiform script and the Akkadian language. Click on the links below to learn more about the civilizations, culture, geography, and people of